Uh, it's like I said, there, there's no question in my mind. Uh, one of the best, biggest successes we can have as an athletic program and as a football team is because of the noise and excitement that y'all create week after week. So we do very much appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate the fact that they're going to run that ball to uh, Bristol. I earlier told me to change the game to Roanoke so they could get them a good job. So they didn't like that. Anyway, what this is, they're going to run the ball to Bristol, Bristol Motor Speedway. It is basically a fundraiser for second tour. And basically that is to help all of our veterans who are in distress, who have needs, special things. Uh, and again, they've done a great job of raising money for them. And, you know, I know we appreciate it. How many of you guys have uh, parents or brothers or sisters that are in the military? Raise your hand. That says enough right there. So again, thank you. All right, big boy. I got on my coaching shirt, now you take my football. This is your ball. Real quick, guys, I'm the president of Second Tour. I did uh, give you a little down amount about me. I did eight years in the military, spent 27 months in Iraq. I'm going to be cheesy for a second. The reason why is because some of my brothers and sisters didn't make it back. Some of them, they didn't get this chance to play football. I'm going to tell you, you better live in the now. Because you ain't going to be number 46 here in a couple years. You ain't going to be 60. You're going to be Josh that used to play at ETSU, uh, ETSU football. So this Saturday, live it, leave it on the field. And if it ain't for you, for the five brothers that I lost downrange, leave it out there for them. And I don't mean to be cheesy. I got chills all over. But they didn't have that chance. So do it. How many times do you get to play at Bristol Motor Speedway, man? Bust somebody in the mouth and not just, if, if not for you, for the people that couldn't, man. And I'm sorry, again, to be cheesy, but this is an opportunity of a lifetime, of a lifetime that I don't have to, that I didn't get a chance to do or that they didn't get a chance to do. So thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. And not for me, for them. So thank you guys. So much. Yeah. We're going to start off here early in the morning. Uh, we're going to take the ball from uh, over here in the quad. We're going to run it basically the entire way to Bristol, except it's going to be a relay of brothers, so everybody's going to be running a certain leg of it until we get to the Bristol Motor Mile where we'll have a deuce and a half and a police escort until we finally reach the stadium and walk it into the stadium for the game to start. Everybody is going to be involved in this. Uh, some people will be picking people up, dropping them off, but the majority of the chapter is actually running the game ball from the next brother to the next brother until we finally reach the stadium. It's mainly a donation. We have a link up. Uh, we'll have that spread, spread around all over, all over the place. Uh, we've taken donations for the shirts that we're going to be selling uh, and mainly just general donations. You know, it's a 100% nonprofit organization uh, to homeless veterans here living in Johnson City that really need the help. Well, Sigma Up is, uh, I think, doing a great, great thing. They're uh, uh, doing a lot for our veterans uh, to try to help them uh, have a better life. Uh, it's a great opportunity for them to do something special as a community service. Uh, I've got great respect for all of our fraternities and sororities because they mean so much not only to our athletic program but also to our university. I'm excited about what they're doing and it's a great, great opportunity for them to show the support for, for our former military personnel. We need to have a big uh, uh, support cast from our students. Uh, obviously, I think our local uh, supporters will be there, but we want them to come early. We want them to stay late. We want them to be extremely loud. Uh, be the 12th man. I mean, make it something special so that they can help us win a ball game.